Hey everyone, uh, just going to make a quick video on how to properly flash a kernel for your Samsung Epic and overclock your phone. So I'm currently running Syndicate Frozen ROM 1.1.0. I'll show you that real quick. About phone, build number SRF 1.1.0. And uh, I'm going to show you how to flash the Vision kernel version 1.1. Uh, what you're going to need to do is click on the link in the description. It will take you to this website right here, XTA Developers website. Um, post the thread will look like this. You'll scroll down a little bit, and then on the left you'll see Downloads. Click on uh, the version 1.1 link. It'll download the, the kernel. What you're going to need to do with that zip file is just click and drag the zip file onto your SD card. Just mount your phone and then click and drag the zip file onto your SD card and then once it's on your SD card unplug your phone and then you're gonna want to shut down your phone just power it off and if you guys do need uh, if you're looking to um, learn how to flash a ROM then I will post a link in the description on how you can do that I did make a video for that as well Okay, so now that my phone is off, what you're going to need to do is boot into Clockwork, volume down, camera button, and power button at the same time. Just press and hold them. I, I always press and hold them until the bottom backlit keys light up. Okay. So now that it's booted into Clockwork, you're going to want to go to install zip from SD card choose it from SD card and then you're going to want to just find the kernel that you put on your SD card. It should be called Vision Kernel version 1.1.zip. So you press that and then you hit yes, install Vision Kernel version 1.1.zip. So you hit that, it'll uh, install your kernel and there you go. Kernel is installed. So you're going to want to hit go back and then reboot your phone. Okay, and now that my phone has booted up, I will now uh, show you how to use uh, an app called Set CPU to overclock your phone. Uh, so you're going to want to go to the market and download it to, and install an app called Set CPU. It's going to look like this right there, Set CPU. You're going to want to click on it, and then you're going to scroll down, and you're going to want to hit Auto Detect Speeds Recommended. You gotta press that and then hit OK. Then it should ask for root access. And then you hit allow. Okay, and now you're in uh, to set CPU. What you're gonna wanna do is scaling is gonna always be set to on demand. And then to overclock your phone, you're gonna wanna just click and drag the max up. And you can. In this case, you can overclock it to 1400 mega, megahertz, which is 1.4 gigahertz. Some phones can't handle that, so if you overclock it to 1.4 gigahertz and your phones can't handle it, you'll know, and it's not going to work properly, so you'll know that you can't go that high. I know some phones can only go up to 1.2 gigahertz, so if you can only do that, you can just bring it up to... Uh... Oh, in this case, this kernel doesn't have the... 1200 megahertz steps, so you'll either get 1.3 gigahertz or 1 1 gig. So, um, so let's see. You just bring it up to uh, 1.4 gigahertz. Make sure it works. Don't hit set on boot yet. Um, what you can do is you can run some benchmark tests. Uh, just go through and make sure you're not getting any uh, lag or any freezes. But uh, once you know that 1.4 gigahertz works, you can go back into set CPU and then just check the set on boot. That way it will always be at 1.4 gigahertz whenever you reboot your phone. And yeah, I, I, um, so that's how you properly flash a kernel and you set CPU to overclock your phone. If you do have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. You can always uh, leave a comment on the video, send me a message. I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you guys out.